Okay guys, so today, as you read in the title, I am going to be putting this Harbor Freight winch on my John boat. Now this was a pre-owned winch, and so I got it for clearance. It was 25% off, so I got it for $45. If you're unaware, Harbor Freight does run deals on previously opened boxes. So somebody had already bought this and then opened it and then returned it. So for $45, I got the 2,000 pound winch, the controller, the hardware, and then the channel breaker. I've already hooked it up to my battery and the winch does work. This boat does not weigh that much. It does have a floor in it and the seats and the motor is probably five, six, maybe 700 pounds. So this winch should work perfect for it. So as you guys already saw, I've already taken the old trolling motor off because I have a new one to go on here. Now I could mount this winch in the middle right here in between these lights on top of this little aluminum plated deck. But what I really want to do is I really want to mount it right here, but underneath and then have my wire come out of this hole right here. That would just give me a lot more deck space. And plus I think it would be so subtle. It'd be so cool for whenever I would need a winch for whatever reason, I could just be like, oh, I got one. I'm gonna put these two nuts on top and create like a homemade lock washer or lock nut on Send that piece to the stratosphere. Got the cable pushed through the front of my boat. The winch is mounted right here under here. Decided to go with it upside down underneath the deck because I think it looks cooler hidden and I think it's it's gonna be out the way. I'm never gonna use it. So that's the point. I did have to cut the cable because there was no way I was going to be able to put the hook through it, through the front of my boat, I mean. So now I have the hardware and I'm just gonna reattach my hook on the front. And here it is. This is kind of a little jerry rig, but you can buy these from Lowe's or Home Depot for like $1.50. So I just cut the cable, th thread it back through the loop right here, and then just wrench these down and it's not going nowhere. I'm gonna get a couple more and put on here just because, uh, just to be safe. So I got it done. Uh, it is definitely not the prettiest, but it is gonna be the safest for what I had to do. Because I had to cut it, I just wanted to be sure that it wasn't gonna pop off and you know, whip someone in the eye or anything crazy like that. So it's a little ugly, but at the end of the day, it's a winch on a John boat. It's gonna be a little ugly. So coming from the controller, we have two positives and two grounds. Uh, two of them go to the power source, which would be a battery. And then two of them go to the motor, as you can see right here in their mark. But the ones going to the battery, these little eyelets right here are not big enough to go over my battery terminals. I just bought some little battery clips. Me personally, I think it's gonna be more convenient. I can just leave my controller screwed into the winch at all times. Then whenever I need to use my winch, I can just clip it onto my batteries instead of having to unscrew the nut and then screw it back on. My two power sides, I'm just gonna cut these off. Cut it off like that. And I'm gonna do the same with a positive as well. Something super simple that surprisingly not many people know about these little terminal clamps is that the sleeves come off so you can measure exactly how much wire you need to strip off as you can see you can pretty easily mark it exactly so you don't have too much okay this is definitely incorrect but uh, i don't know where my strippers went so i'm just gonna slightly just easily take this off right here if you're going to do it like this which i really don't recommend doing just go slow because you don't want to cut any of the wires on the inside okay then you want to twist them up As obvious as this might sound, if you're going to attach it to this, you can't put the sleeve on after, so you gotta put the sleeve on first. Duh, but like, you'd be surprised at the amount of people. Pro tip, make sure you connect the positive to the positive and your negative to the negative. Don't ask me 
how I know that. This is a deep cycle trolling motor battery. It has these little terminals right here instead of just the normal car battery terminals. But see, these little eyelets, they still wouldn't go over it, which is why I cut and put the, put the clamps on it. Also, in 100% honesty, this battery is about all the way dead. So, so I got maybe three foot of line. Clip it right there. I'm going to kind of hold my cable tight right here because I don't want it spooling up loose on my winch. Girls, let's see. I got my terminals all hooked up. Holding my cable right here pretty tight. Let's see what happens. I think she worked. So as a controller, I got out and in. So see you can... I don't want to tighten it too much because I don't want to rip the front of my boat off. Something I am going to do is I'm going to get a little piece of steel and I'm going to cut it to where it's about it's about this long, just so I can brace these a little bit better. The winch is only probably 12, 15 pounds though, so it should be no problem hanging up under here. As it is, I think it's super cool underneath like that because you can't even see it. As I said, you can't even see it and there's just a small cable coming out from the front right here. I'm just gonna leave the controller hooked up to my winch 100% of the time. And I'm just gonna clamp and unclamp these whenever I find the need to use my winch. I'm gonna find some way to tidy this up to where I can store it underneath here somewhere with the winch. And then that way it's gonna be completely out of my point of view and out of my sight unless I need to use it. But I'm not gonna bore you guys any longer with putting the brace over the bolts or how I'm gonna tidy up my wires. But uh, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.